All right, fourth grade, our lesson today is checking addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. That means that they are opposites. So today we are going to be using addition to check our subtraction answers, and we can also use subtraction to check our addition answers. So smart mathematicians always, always check their answer. Um, and when you're doing an addition problem or a subtraction problem, you're going to use that inverse operation every time to check your answer. So I recommend thinking of your fact families, okay? Um, here's a very simple example right here. In this fact family in our house, we have 2, 7, and 5. If 2 plus 7 equals 5, then 7 minus 5 has to equal 2, okay? So you can use that relationship, that inverse relationship, to check your answers. So I'm going to let you go ahead and try this one. 13 minus 6 is 7. That means that we could check our answer because 7 plus 6 has to equal 13. You're using the same numbers. Notice that we're using the exact same three numbers they're just switched around. Okay, we're going to look at another problem right here. So we have $1.75 plus $2.12. Okay, this is very simple addition. So we know that 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 1 plus 2 is 3. Well, I want to check and make sure that 387 is the correct answer. So I'm going to use that inverse operation, the opposite operation. I'm going to use subtraction to check my answer. So I look over here, and if this is true, then I should be able to move 387 up here. So whatever the sum is, is now going to become the whole number which we're subtracting from. So 387 minus 212 has to equal $1.75. So 7 minus 2 is 5, 8 minus 1 is 7, 3 minus 2 is 1. So we can say check, check, check. We have all the same three numbers, so that means that our answer is correct. You'll notice the sum of our addition problem comes up here to be the, the whole number that we're subtracting from. Um, and then here, the difference is one of the add-ins in the addition problem. Okay, so the same three numbers, they're just switched around. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another problem. I have $4.32, I'm going to add $3.14, okay, so we always start on the right and move left, so we're starting in the pennies, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, bring down that decimal, 4 plus 3 is 7. If I added correctly, I should be able to take this answer right here, my sum, and put it up here into a subtraction problem, okay? And I'm going to now just scoot this one over and subtract. So 6 minus 4, I know, is 2. 4 minus 1 is 3. We're going to bring that, oops, excuse me, we're going to bring that decimal down. 7 minus 3 is 4. And we can't forget our dollar sign. So do we have all three same numbers that we started with? Check, check, check. Our answer is correct. So you see that opposite inverse relationship. Okay, I want you to try this one with me now. So go ahead and get out a whiteboard or a, a piece of scratch paper and a pencil, and we're going to subtract, okay? 2 minus 1 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. And there's nothing to subtract from the 3, so we just bring it down giving us 321. I want to check my answer and make sure that this is correct. So I'm now going to take this number, 321. I'm going to add it to 51. And if I did my problem correctly, my answer will be 372. So we're going to try it right now. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. Bring our 3 down, 372. Okay, so we have the same numbers, right? Check, check, check. That means we did it.
correctly, okay? Seeing those same numbers with the opposite operation, using subtraction, using addition. Okay, last one, we're gonna try this one. Um, eight minus four is four. Seven minus three is four. And eight minus one is seven. If I subtracted correctly, then I should be able to add this number and this number to get this number. Okay, so you're basically just working backwards. So I'm going to do 744 plus 134. And I'm going to add 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. I have the same, all three numbers. My answer is correct. Okay, so the, what I want you to get out of this lesson is that you should always check your answer and using that, understanding that inverse relationship and using that inverse operation will help you to check your answer every single time. All right, great job.